So here we are. We're at the end, my friends. One more game. It's huge. Let's wrap up the Hall of Famer. my friends welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the end of one of the series that we started uh, deep into last year uh, and it is of course fm 17's the hall of famer now um this isn't really finishing in the manner that i'd have liked it to obviously it's well documented that the save file went a bit funny towards the end so i haven't been able to upload like i wanted um so really i've had to kind of rush this to the end of the season but we do have a massive game in line to play for our last ever episode and then once that game's played win lose or draw we are gonna just have a look at the manager's accomplishments because that was the whole premise of this series was to see how far we could get the manager to go um not too far by the looks of things is uh, what i will say but we do have a plenty of catching up to do but before we do that my friends i do want to make you aware that fm18 will be coming to the channel i have two series in mind um one is basically Hall of Famer take two with a few changes, a few tweaks to the rules that I put in place at the beginning. Um, that's one option. And the other one is me trying to rebuild a team that I remember being quite a good little team up in the Premier League back in the day, but they're struggling at the moment. Don't want to give too much away because all will be revealed in the trailer for um, the new series, which I'm hopefully going to release on about the 12th of November for the first episode to either go out on the 13th, 14th or 15th of November. The reason that the schedule is like that is because obviously I have FIFA 18 up the imps. Do hit that link above. It will take you to the last episode if you're interested. Also, I do the Premier League show and that usually goes out. The wrap up usually goes out on a Monday or a Tuesday shitloads on the channel plenty to look forward to my friends but today let's wrap up the hall of famer let's go over to the uh, fixtures so i can show you what's been going on and then we'll, we'll crack on with today's episode finish it up wrap it up all that good stuff okay my friends so here we are fixtures screen and i'm sure all of you will remember the last game that we played um in the actual series was a long time ago it was the efl cup final against chelsea that we won one nil now you will see that the form since then has tailed off ever so slightly not enough wins for my liking but we've been getting important wins in the big european competition and I'm, you know, we're going to run through the fixtures, but as you can see at the bottom there, my friends, today we are going to be playing against Liverpool in the Europa League Cup final. I did manage to make it there, and that's why I thought that this would be a perfect game to play to wrap up the whole thing. But let's quickly run through the fixtures. I will show you the league table very, very briefly before we crack on with the game, because it's quite important because of the way that the form went. Um, you'll see a 0-0 against Newcastle. Not the best result. They haven't had the best of seasons. A 0-0 against Manchester United. Uh, Manchester United went on to win the league, so a 0-0 against them is a really, really good result. You'll then see we played our first leg in the second knockout round which was a game we were supposed to bring it back for you guys but obviously with the problems i had i couldn't it ended free free what a game my friends fiorentina were a lot harder opposition than i probably gave them credit for um you'll see uh they went uh they went one nil up we pulled it back they went three one up we pulled it back good game unbelievable stuff a good effort from the boys Wolves have finished 1-0, a good goal for us, uh, helped us in the league and get back to winning ways as well because we hadn't won in three since the final. We then came into the second leg and it was a 2-2 draw and we went through on away goals. These teams just did not want to beat one another and didn't want to be beaten at the same time. Um, you'll see another really good result for us. Went 1-0 up, 1-1, 2-1 to us, 2-2. Right at the last minute as well when I was a bit worried it was going to go extra time, but obviously away goals see us through. We then went back into the Premier League and a good result against Chelsea uh, a 2-2 draw um, we were on top but we like to fuck it up and make things hard for ourselves don't we uh, but I, I, I'll take it it was a good result I weren't too unhappy about it we then came up against Sporting in the quarterfinals of the Europa League and they were a good team dominated us in the first leg uh, and I was very surprised um, you know that it wasn't more than 1-0 they, they were better than us on the day in every department 
We then played Arsenal in the league. You'll see we went down 1-0 in the first half. They completely dominated us, but in the final 20 minutes, we really come into our own and we won the fixture. Great comeback from the boys. And it was a bit of a rotated team at the time as well. Uh, we then played Sporting in the second leg and we made up for it. Um, from that disappointing first leg uh, loss. You'll see that uh, we went 1-0 up in the third minute. Then they had a player sent off. It did make the difference. Uh, I can't deny that it did. Um, but we went you know, 3-0 up before another player was sent off. They completely lost their heads, completely lost their call. Uh, and we went through to the semis. We then went back to Premier League action, a 1-1 draw against Southampton. In my opinion, a disappointing result. Um, they were a team that was struggling in the league and it really hurt us. But it didn't hurt us as much as the 2-0 loss to Burnley. Um, Burnley were excellent in the game. I did rotate ever so slightly, but they were bottom of the league. We should have been beating these guys with our second team, but we couldn't manage it. Um, we then played the first semi-final against Napoli and I thought we were going to struggle. Napoli are an excellent team. In this series, I was looking at their players and they really do have some threats. And OG see us win 1-0 uh, in the first leg. 89th minute as well. Heartbreak for Napoli. But we take that into the second leg. Very, very happy. We then faced Everton and we won 3-0. Completely dominated them. A great result for us. We then went into the second leg and what a second leg it was. Four away goals for us. We dominated them. We were 3-0 um, up. They came back, made it 3-2. And I was thinking, shit the bed. The comeback is on, but Decore with a 90th minute, uh, we, well, it weren't a 90th minute winner, but a 90th minute goal. See us through to the final where we would be facing off against Liverpool. We then had a 2-0 win against Watford, a really good result for us. Watford are a team that were doing all right this season, a bit yo-yo, but doing all right. And then for me, a disappointing 0-0 against Brighton to finish off the season, especially considering that they had a man sent off. And that is us up to date, my friends. You will see the Europa League final is the game we're going to play. Let's take a quick look at the league table though before we crack on with that so you can see where we finished this season. So here you are, my friends. This is how it has finished this year in all competitions. We won the Community Shield. We won the EFL Cup. We are into the final of the Europa Cup. We went out in the fifth round of the FA Cup, which was a little disappointing. But you will see the league table is the thing that is most impressive for me this season. Even if we had won, we probably still wouldn't have finished in the top four because of goal difference. Uh, that was what was letting us down. But we didn't win. We drew. Um, so it is one of those things. Actually... I'm not even doing the maths properly. We wouldn't have made it up there anyway. We'd have been on 70 points should we have won. But a fifth place finish for us. I think the draws let us down. You'll see we lost less games than those teams that finished above us in second, third and fourth. So really too many draws throughout the season cost us a Champions League place. But we still have a chance of booking that. Uh, with a win in the Europa League. Now, I know the series is coming to an end. We're not going to be playing the Champions League, but it would still be nice to do it, wouldn't it, my friends? But 15 goals for David Ayew in the league is pretty incredible for us as well. It is, his season alone is about to end, and I've tried to buy him. It's not happening. I don't know why I've tried to buy him. I'm finishing the series, but I just the whole point of having Ayew at the club full-time. But that's how it's finished. 18 wins, 14 draws, 6 losses. Great goal difference, 68 points. What a fucking unit we have made at Middlesbrough. A great team. And they beat the big boys on a regular basis. That's what I like about them. But that's it, my friends. That's us all wrapped up. Now, let's crack on with the episode. Let's crack on with this massive, massive final. And then we will finish it all after. Let's hope we're finishing this series up. Winners of the Europa League. Okay, my friends, so here it is. This is the team we are going with to compete with Liverpool in this Europa League final. Um, it's the strongest team I can put out. I have some big absentees. Um, Abubakar is on international duty already, which is really fucking annoying. I hate it when that happens. And uh, we've got a couple of other people that would have played a part but they're not registered because they were injured uh, at the time. But this is the team we're going with. I think it's good enough. Um, and I'm happy with it, and I feel like we can definitely get the job done with them. So we're going to go with Begovic in goal, Larola and Gerardo at fullback, Gibson and Big Chids at centre-back. Chids has been amazing all season long. We're going to go with Saru, Chico, Zebli in the centre of midfield. Diamico is going to play on the left, Gray on the right, Ayu through the middle. It's a good enough team. Let's win the Europa League. If we don't, I'm going to be finishing this series with tears streaming down my face. So here we go, my friends. Liverpool get us kicked off in this final. And Jesus Christ, am I nervous. I would love to finish this. You know, I want to I finish this with a big win. 
But Liverpool are a good team. And uh, as I'm saying all this, Liverpool are building from the back, doing really well. Jesus Christ, they're cutting us open. Cutting us open. Are they going to go one up? No, they've hit the post. Oh, my God. Do better, lads, at the back. Jesus Christ. Right, Saru into Chico. We need to hold on to the ball for a little while, lads. Like, opening couple of minutes, Liverpool dominating us. But that's great from that's great from Gray. Down the wing he goes. He's been brilliant all season. And Ayo! <laughs> Six minutes into the fixture. David Ayo puts us 1-0 up. Gray with all the work there. But what a goal. And as I'm still fucking talking, we have another highlight. Could this be one of them finals? Could it be like that FA Cup final? West Ham, Liverpool, 3-3. I hope not. My God, I don't think I can take it. But that's a good cutout from the roller. Good passing from the boys. Chico, though, has it nicked off him. Not good enough. Needs to be aware of everyone around him. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. You need to mark up better, lads. Come on. Get the tackle in. No, 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 no. Good save from Begovic. Jesus Christ. Okay, nearly 25 minutes into the fixture. It's settled down a bit. It's very 50-50. And as I say that, I've jinxed it, haven't I? Come on, get up. Win that header. Come on, win it again. Win it again. That's nice from you. Right, Diamico, where are you going to go? Don't lose it, whatever happens. That's great from Zebli. Coming through. Ah, oh, Swaru loses it now. And we are all up the pitch, pushing forward. We do like to count them very quickly. But that's great from Zebli. Into Ayu. Chico with it now. Driving past the player. Driving past another. Oh, and he forces a great save from the keeper. Right, goal kick here to Liverpool. Jesus, it's been an action-packed first half. We need the second goal, I think, by the looks of being Gerardo, though. With a ball over the top. Suarez going to get there. Why did he shoot? Lay it off to Ayu and we're 2-0 up. Right, come on. Defend this. Defend this. That is great from you. Right, Ayu needs some help. He gets it from, from Diamico. He struggled in the fixture and <sighs> struggled. He's the aim of the game there with that pass as well. Chico, don't lose it. No. All you needed to do was go wide, Chico, and you have put us under in danger now. And Will Hughes is in. What a save from Begovic. What a fucking save. What a signing he has been. Didn't even cost me a million quid. Right, half time. We're 1-0 up. Squeaky bum time now going into this second half. We've done all right, but there's a few players. Sloppy passes, underperforming a little bit. May have to take a look at it. Might have to make some changes. But for now, we are winning. We're on the verge. Um, oh, come on, win it. Oh, yes, Zibli. Brilliant from you. And you're on a yellow card. I always worry about that. Oh, Chico. Uh, fuck's sake. Chico has not been good in the game. I might have to pull him off. Zibli again with another tackle. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, what a save from Begovic. Come on. We are going to be making some changes, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Now, he's saying Chico's having a good game, but for me, he's not. He's really struggling. I am going to go to a roaming playmaker with Swaru. That means he'll do a lot of the dirty work going forward and back. Chico's going to come off for Decore. He's going to go to his usual box-to-box -box midfielder, because I think that'll help as well. Zebli, we've got to keep an eye on. I need to keep a substitution free for him. The other player I'm a bit worried about at the moment is Diamico, but I don't have a left-sided player on the bench, but I think I'm going to give it another 10 minutes, and then if not, I think Gray might have to go over there, and we'll have to bring Fleeg on, but for now, that is it. <sighs> I just need a second goal. Need that second goal. And at this moment in time, we are not getting it. And Liverpool are coming forward, and I sense, I sense it, I sense it, I sense it. No, no, oh no, no, no! Of all the ways to concede, it's bounced off the back of our player. Oh, Jesus. All right, it's a throw in, do not give this away. Diamico's done well, ball in the box. Oh, Gray heads it straight at the keeper. Right, it's a free kick. Diamico is on it. And Diamico! That is the only reason you keep him on the pitch. 25 yards unstoppable. It's 2-1. 80 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. We are not far away. Oh, my God. It wants to highlight me. No, no, no. That throw-in is terrible. Thank fuck they just give it back, though, like that. Decore. Oh, Jordan Henderson. Jesus Christ. That's a sending off. And surely... We should wrap this up now. What an awful foul that is from Henderson. Come on, don't lose this now. Not to 10 men. That would be devastating. Diamico, not good enough from you. But Zebli picks up. Zebli has been brilliant. He's been on a yellow card most of the game. Into the core, Ray. Into Gray. Get a ball in. Diamico. Diamico. 
won! Three won! And we have fucking done it! What a way to wrap up the series! Come on! Literally seconds left, ladies and gentlemen, in the game. What a performance! What a game! We are coming forward. There we have it. We are Europa League champions. What a way to finish it. Come on. And there you have it, my friends. I know I just completely lost my mind, but that confirms it, my friends. We have celebrated a weird little treble this season, what with the Community Shield and the EFL Cup, uh, you know, thrown in. But what a way to finish this up, winning the Europa, UEFA Europa League. I couldn't be happier, mate. And we beat Liverpool as well, because they're fucking hard to beat. They're a big team in the league. Come on. Come on. Now, let's just wrap this whole thing up. Let me show you, my friends, the manager, his achievements, what we've managed to do in our six seasons here on the Hall of Famer. So here we are, my friends. This is the manager's screen, and this is everything that we've achieved um, in the series. As you can see, you know, we take a look at those coaching stats to start with. We ended up with that Continental B license in the end. I just couldn't get to the point where Middlesbrough would let me do my Continental A and then eventually my Pro Badge, which would have opened the door for bigger jobs. Um, and that might have helped us. If we had got a really top-level job, I think it might have uh, helped us really push on for the Hall of Famer because of the amount of points you need to accumulate from winning, you know, championships, league titles and all that good stuff. Um, but I think we did really, really well from where we began. Um, I think the stats look really, really good. The only thing I'm a bit weirded out about is the loyalty to players. Now, I've not been disloyal to any of my players. I've sold players that I think are not good enough i've tried to give people a chance but it seems that that's really low and working with youngsters my squads throughout the whole series have had an average age of about 24 so how working with youngsters can be so low i don't know football manager let me know message on a postcard and all that good stuff but i'm happy with that Career stats, you can see 273 games played, 134 wins, 71 draws, 68 losses, uh, a really good goal difference and a win percentage of 49%, which I think is really good. You think about where we started this series at Arsenal, Kiev, we had two very difficult seasons there where our win, win percentage was awful. We went to Olbia, changed things up a little bit, didn't we? Really pushed on and, you know, basically were performing well above expectations when we were there um, and then we went to Middlesbrough and it's just gone from strength to strength at Middlesbrough as you can see my friends the career achievements we did win the Italian Serie C with OBL we were punching well above our weight and you know we had them up in the playoff places for Serie B when we left we then moved on to Middlesbrough, um, and obviously we didn't win anything at Arsenal Kiev because it was a very difficult time uh, and we were runners up in the championship we won the FA Cup, we won the English Community Shield, the EFL Cup, and the Europa League. We did it all, excuse me, Jesus Christ. We did it all at Middlesbrough. You know, on average, we spent two years at each club, Middlesbrough. We've been here two years, but we, you know, had the series continued, we would have, we would have remained at Middlesbrough. We wouldn't have got a bigger job than this. We would have been playing Champions League football next season. I probably would have managed to wrangle my badges eventually, but it wasn't to be. But the last thing we need to do, my friends, is take a look at that Hall of Fame list, see where we are, if we've moved, how many points we accumulated. It was a hard series, and I can tell you now, I've already looked at this, um... I think I made it a little bit too hard for myself. So here we are, my friends, the Hall of Fame list. And we have not made it on the top 20 of any of the lists, unfortunately, because we just haven't done enough. Uh, it is what it is. It's one of those things. Um, as you can see, though, it says two clubs. The reason it only says two clubs, we've only won stuff at two clubs. We did and we did actually manage three, but uh, it is what it is. But you can see, uh, you know, all the titles I've just mentioned before, and that accumulated to 415 points. So you can imagine how much you need to win and what you need to win to do what Alex Ferguson has done. Uh, so if I click him, yeah, look at all that. So basically, I made it a little bit too hard for myself, ladies and gentlemen. But if I do bring this back, because obviously I did say at the beginning of the uh, episode that I was thinking about bringing this uh, wonderful series back. If I do bring it back, I will be changing it slightly. There will be a twist in the towel. But... It will be must watch, in my opinion. So we will make a decision. I'm probably going to run some Twitter polls, some Facebook polls on my social media accounts. I would really appreciate it if you guys could get involved in them. Um, but that is it, my friends. The Hall of Famer is done and dusted. So there you have it, my friends. The Hall of Famer on FM17 is no more. We will be back in November with a brand new FM18 series. 
going forward with FM content on the channel, it is going to almost go out three times a week. Now my schedule's pretty busy, I do FIFA, Premier League show, Extra Time, Hammer Time, all this good stuff, but double uploads are gonna be coming a thing of very, you know, a real regular thing on the channel. So nothing is gonna stop me. I'm determined to get a proper Football Manager series out of my channel and stop with all this bollocks where I upload, you know, twice in one week and then the next week nothing and then a once and then three weeks off. I can't be doing that. I need consistency, so the next series is gonna be an absolute metro boom up, my friends. But remember, if you are new, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really is appreciated by yours truly. But that's it until next time, which is FM18. I've been Dan, you've been Legends. This has been FM17's The Hall of Famer. Peace out, my homies. Laters.